we are going to make cake flowers raw brownies. So one of the things I've been wanting to do on this channel is like look at other YouTubers recipes and recreate them and try and make them right and see how it is. Because we all know one person can make a recipe one way and another person can try it and completely fuck it up and have to do it another way to get it right. So that's what we're going to be trying today. So she recently made these brownies in one of her videos. The real magic here is the raw brownies on top. It's been a while since I made them. They're no bake, raw vegan brownies, and it's like three ingredients. They're super, super easy to make and healthy. Healthy brownies, like who doesn't want that? They look so delicious that I had to try them and I had to share them with y'all. If y'all don't know who Kate Flowers is, I'm gonna leave her channel linked down below. She's an amazing, beautiful human who makes amazing looking food. And I just love her. She's such a positive, happy vibe. And so sweet and tiny and cute. So for this recipe, you're really just gonna need a food processor and a pan. That's it. And the food part. Yeah, let's get that out. So for this recipe, all you're gonna need is dates, vanilla extract, walnuts, cocoa powder, and I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. I don't think that was in the original recipe, but I think a pinch of salt will help balance the flavor in this. We're just gonna add everything to the food processor. Make sure you pit your dates. Don't forget to pit your dates. Finally, there we go. Also, I think I forgot to mention that I'm making a two time right now. So once the chocolate dough actually comes together, it'll all like stick, start to stick together. I'm gonna turn this out into my tray here. And then I'm just gonna press it out into brownies. I think this pan is too big for this. So instead, we're gonna do it in a smaller pan. Wow, I can't believe how greasy that is. And when we didn't even add oil to it, it's so greasy. Okay, got it pressed into some pretty thick brownies here. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it harden. I'm really hoping this grease absorbs into it. Now I'm gonna have to like dab the top because there is a lot of grease. I was not expecting that. Okay, into the fridge it goes. I will meet you right back here later tonight after those have set so that we can dig into them. Hmm, you know, I'm also wondering what these would be like if I used a lower fat content nut. Nuts cross the border fairly high in fat, but if I use something like pecans that are lower in fat than walnuts, if the brownie would still turn out super greasy, or if they would still turn out. So that is something we will have to try, replacing the walnuts in this recipe with other nuts to see what happens. Or maybe a combination of nuts. But for right now, we're gonna stick with the original recipe plus salt because it makes it better. Salt makes everything better. Okay, these brownies have been setting in the fridge for a few hours. Um, the top does seem quite a bit greasy, so I think I'm just gonna take a paper towel to it and blot off a lot of that grease. 
Maybe I let it go too long in the food processor or something, but I mean, hers seemed like they looked a little greasy, but not like cooling on top like this one. It's gonna look something like this. Like I said, I'll start experimenting with other nuts next time. See how much grease is on there? Now I'm very excited to try these. Oh, much better. to the pan for me so they were they easily popped out. These are like straight up fudge brownies. They look so good. Okay, okay. I have to try it. I have to try it. Oh my Jesus. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, now I feel like there's just like chocolate coating my mouth. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Kate Flowers recreation recipe. I really like it and I would definitely make this again. I might tweak it a little bit to see what we can do about that oiliness because I'm not that into it. Either way, you're going to love this. Please go check out her channel if you haven't watched it before. She's adorable. She's a wonderful human. And she makes all kinds of amazing recipes. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll also leave her socials down below and a link to her recipe. Hit the like button if you like this video. Leave me a comment down below if you try this raw brownie recipe. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to grow this community to 50 subscribers by the end of the year, and I would love your help with that. And hit that notification bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. I am Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all. So good.